and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting to do just that and tackle today's Times Cryptic crossword. It's Friday today, and that means it's normally very difficult, and the snitch rating certainly implied it was difficult. And if we look at the top, the top solvers, um, certainly all the way down to frame shift, Mark would describe them as cheats. <laughs> Because what they do is they pre-solve it on paper and then type in their answers as quickly as they can. Um, I think Chindit is real. I'm not sure. I'm not totally sure about that. Richard is real. That's a real solver. So you can see 11 minutes 24 is the first definitely real solve. Let me go down the list here. Mike Osborne is real. Tom Stubbs is real. 17 minutes 47. So this is clearly a very hard puzzle today. Um... I'm trying to see, let's, oh, look, you see, there are even, if you can get into the top 100 souls with two errors, that shows you how hard it is. It may be that I'm not able to do it. We shall, we shall see, but I shall try for you. Um, but before we kick off, just a quick reminder that we are in the last few hours of our Kickstarter. Kickstarter has been running for about a month, and this is our quest to make Cracking the Cryptic's Greatest Hits Volume 2, our new book. Um, so if you fancy grabbing a copy, the only way to get it is to join the Kickstarter. I'll try and remember to put a, a link on the screen. But that's enough of that. Let's go back to this puzzle and click play. Hopefully this will work. Otherwise, I've had a big shank. There we go. There's a puzzle. Right. Article in class, you look briefly. Article in class, you look briefly. Um, look briefly. Have you look briefly. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Uh, that's not very surprising. It's, it's obviously a very hard puzzle. Drink with university publishers. That's probably the Oxford University Press. That's OUP and secretary. Cuppa. No, so Cambridge University Press. As a as an alumnus of uh, Cambridge, I really should have gone to CUP first, but I didn't. Um, so how does this work? University Press. I think it's Cambridge University Press. Um, sorry, University Publishers. Cambridge University Press. PA for a secretary. Cuppa is a drink. So six down. Spoil function. Function is often a mathematical function. So I'm thinking cos here, as in sine and cos. Uh, getting formal spoil because spoil if you spoil somebody you cosset them formal is yeah i suppose if you go to a set meal it might be a formal meal so i think cosset feels right there let's try a look at seven seven down unwanted acquisition wrong ipod chosen by girl this looks like an anagram of ipod chosen by girl which is is that the right number of letters? No, it's not. I'm sure it's going to involve an anagram of iPod chosen somehow. So that would give us 10 of the letters and then maybe a girl's name, five letters at the end. Unwanted acquisition. Um, unwanted acquisition purchase. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Correction. I'm thinking amendment immediately. Approval by millions in depression. A depression could be a, a dent. Amendment. Oh, yeah. No. OK. Approval. If you say amen to something, you're giving your approval to it. And then dent around M for millions. So a depression is a dent. M for millions inside, amendment is the answer. So, yeah, it's often a good trick with these. Is your first guess at the answer is often the right one, but don't so spend the time in trying to justify why it could be right. Come again, following setback, perhaps. Again, cross some cattle. Hereford? Come again, following setback, perhaps perhaps okay <laughs> i mean there's so much going on in that clue i was thinking hereford is a breed of cattle so i should take my own advice shouldn't i i should actually put that in and try and see why on earth it's right come again come again ah oh, i see come again is going to be a like if you said if you didn't hear someone you went a that's eh isn't it so come again following setback Come again, 
following can be F. Perhaps again. Oh goodness, there's a lot going. If you cross a river, you ford it. Is that what's going on with the end of this? Come again, following. Maybe it's saying come again, following setback, and that's just saying reverse the eh. Perhaps. I mean, there's a. I think it is Hereford. I think it is. I'm not totally totally certain, but my justification would be the following. Come again is like, pardon me, E-H. Uh, following a setback, perhaps. No, following setback is just going to be reverse E-H. So that gets you H-E. Then perhaps again cross is saying, I don't think there is a word to re-ford. You don't re-ford a river. <laughs> you ford it again. But I think it's saying there might be a word re-ford. And therefore, perhaps to cross again would be to reford a river. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. It's very, very difficult and spurious in my mind. But I think Hereford is justifiable as an answer. So 14 across. Here, you might catch top dog. Here, you might catch top dog. Ah, peak. Yeah, OK. So this is a homophone. Now, if I was to spell peak, P-E-A-K, we would agree that that was a word that meant the top of something, the peak of a mountain, for example. And here it's saying, here you might catch, is referring to that if you catch somebody, you hear it. Oh, I just I just caught what you said there. You, you're catching it. So if you heard the word peak, P-E-A-K, um, it, uh, it's a homophone for P-E-K-E, -E, which is a breed of dog. Again, very hard. All right, let's try and get this long one. Cricket team. Oh, it's going to be a name of a county, like Nottinghamshire. Notting. If, if, if this is Nottinghamshire, that is absolutely awesome. Um, cricket team, we hear. Oh, securing amateurs contract. Contract is higher. That's all I've got at the end of this. So it, I'm sure it is the name of a county. I don't know which county yet. Um, we hear securing amateur. An amateur is a ham, not we here. So Nottinghamshire. So an amateur, okay, secure, maybe that apostrophe S is important. Maybe it's hams. Yes, okay, it's, it's Nottinghamshire because, right, sorry. Notting, it's again, it's a homophone, we hear. If you were to write the word notting with a K at the start, that would be, it would mean securing. You were tying something up. You were knotting it. So it's a homophone for knotting. Just knock the K off. It still sounds the same when we say it. Added to amateur, ham, apostrophe S, that's this S, contract, higher, Nottinghamshire. Very hard. Urge to cross island, small one. Urge. If you urge someone, you egg them on. Urge to cross island. Urge. Island is off, off an I as an abbreviation. I don't know why. I can't think of what. Oh, oh gosh, no, it is. It's this. That is the name of uh, a small island. I don't ask me which. Is it the Hebrides? Uh, the Isle of Aig? I vaguely have heard of it now and now and now I look at it. So that's just brutal as well. Um, artist, <laughs> artist celebrity cutting veal evenly. And that could be the even letters of veal, which would be E and L with roll. Artist. I don't know. Maverick's just taken off. You might be able to hear him flying past. Search engine. Oh, where's the search engine clue? It's this one. Search engine and exhaust tire, maybe, in an Oxfordshire town? Oh, gosh, is it even more sort of geography here? I mean, this is hard. If you if you were trying to do this without uh, English culture, you know, we've got Cambridge University Press, Nottinghamshire as a cricket team, and Hereford as a cattle. I mean, Pekingese. All right, let's try this long one down. If consulted... Told to develop town. Um, Melton Mowbray. I was trying. I think it's going to be the name of a town. Um, 
if consulted, told to develop. It could be an anagram of if consulted, told. Is that the right number of letters? 15. Uh, maybe not. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It is 15. Right, it is an anagram. So if we develop these letters, and it's going to be the name of a town, and this is where it's really annoying, because if you can get something field, Sutton Coalfield, there we go. Sutton, uh, now, I've got to actually, Sutton Coldfield, is it, I think it's Coldfield, like that, but I'm not, I'm not actually sure, has it got two D's in it, yes, so it probably is that, um, it's one of those places that you, you say, but you never have to actually write and spell, so what's this one, article, that could be like an, a definite article, like the, or an indefinite article, like a or an in class you look briefly cast an eye i'm going to put that in just to see whether i can justify it. i don't understand it at the moment so article that could be an in class cast c-a-s-t-e that is the name of a class you look you is ye an old word for for you is ye Ye did this, ye did that, would be you. So brief, I think look briefly is cast an eye as the definition. Absolutely hard, well, very difficult again. For whom fancy nicety is too much? Well, that's that it's, I can immediately see is cynic. And that's just experience. So I see the letters fancy nicety and my brain is just ringing alarm bells. It says, why on earth does the constructor use such a weird collection of letters? So I'm either thinking, I suppose, at one level I'm thinking anagram, but the other thing I'm doing, I've got this C at the start, is noticing there's a C in this string of letters. And so to me, it's very natural to go C-Y-N-I-C. -I, I know that word, it's cynic. Um, and a fancy nicety would be something that cynic would, would sort of poo-poo. So I think that must be how that one is meant to work. Search engine. Search engine and exhaust in an Abingdon? Bing is a search engine. Yeah, it is. It's Abingdon. So Bing is a search engine. And then if you exhaust something, you do it. And you put all of that in the word an. So you can see search engine and exhaust in an. So this an is important because it's that a and that n. And that gives us Abingdon and this looks, let's try and do this. I'm thinking Brian Clough. <laughs> um, no, it's not, is it? Uh, bird taps branch, removing tip. Oh, goodness me. It's going to be, a, it's going to be the name of a bird. Is it? Oh, this, is, this is where it gets worrying because I'm not sure I know the name of this bird. Taps branch, removing tip tip a branch is a bow so i'm going to put that there taps cold and hot god that's hard so there must be a chuff or something i don't know how you even say that is it a chuff i would have thought chuff was C H U F -F -F, but i bet you that is the name of a bird um i will look at the end if i remember in the dictionary to try and justify that look we've got an e at the start of five down artist celebrity Cutting veal. So the veal evenly, E-L, looks still quite good, doesn't it? Celebrity could be a name. Artist enamelist. I like that. I like that as an answer. So celebrity is a name. Cutting E-L with a roll, that's a list. Um, a master of the rolls is, I think, you know, you're using list in that function, aren't you? So artist, enamelist, that feels right. Let's try 13 across. Very tiny rodents, micro, micro, I don't know, micro something. It could be micro, it could be very tiny. And then, then the word mice for rodents, consuming Carl's old nuts. So an anagram of Carl's old, or Carl's micro louse, micro. I'm sure it's micro something. I don't quite know what yet. Micro, very tiny. Microscopic. I think it's going to be that. 
And then what letters do I need? I need, I've got R O L. So that I've got S A C left. S A C. Micro scale. That will be a word. Micro scale is very tiny. That seems likely, doesn't it? So let's have a look. What's that then? Prisoner? Unwanted acquisition. A Ooh, wrong iPod chosen by girl. Po poisoner? Unwanted acquisition. Oh, poisoned. Poisoned pill. Poisoned. Yeah, so in, in sort of M&A, mergers and acquisitions, you get a poisoned. I bet it's poisoned something. Poisoned chalice. Alice is the name of the girl. Aha, it is. So it's going to be it's going to be an anagram of iPod chosen followed by the name of the girl Alice. Poison Chalice is an unwanted acquisition. And we've got M at the start of 13 down. Count having had unexpectedly in Count having had unexpectedly included host of party Mad Hatter. That must be Mad Hatter again. And you can see a lot of this is just guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm latching on to something in the clue that I understand. I'm putting it in and now I'm going to try and justify it. Count having had unexpectedly. That's an anagram. Yes, I understand it now. So if something counts, it matters. So I'm going to put matter around. It's having um, had unexpectedly. That's saying anagram, the letters of the word had. Put them inside the word matter and the host of the party is the Mad Hatter. Again, oh well, I've got Alice here and Mad Hatter. I wonder if that's deliberate. It could be. Um, barrier, of course, due to party lines. Doll? Barrier, of course, due to... Due to I mean, I'm thinking doll just from the wordplay here. So party is a do lines ll that is a valid abbreviation line uh, barrier of course it sounds like a sort of barrier on a golf course but there isn't a doll so far as i'm aware barrier of course i've got a feeling this might be this is the sort of thing that worries me from the point of view of maybe this is why people have been getting this crossword wrong because there is a way of interpreting this clue that is cleverer than the way that I'm seeing it let's try this one looks like some sort of cat doesn't it Siamese cat doesn't fit with this s um, pity uncovered pancreas wound is pussy or well clearly clearly for the definition it's going to we're going to have to read this as pussy so pity uncovered pancreas wound is how I'm reading this. So I think this is an anagram of IT which is taking the word pity and removing its covers. So removing the P and the Y. Then the word pancreas. So that's IT, P-A-N, C-R-E-A-S. Wind all that up and we get 10 letters for the name of a cat. Um, so we could take cat out, couldn't we? I'm just wondering if that's worth doing. It might be. So let's put cat in. So what are the letters that we're left with then? So we're left with an I, a P. Uh, we're left with one A. We're left with an N. We're left with an R. And we're left with something else. I think it's an E. So we've got a... Ma uh, what is this then? Um, I've probably got the wrong letters here because I'm not seeing that at all. Um, Persian. There we go. Persian cat. Gosh, I should have got that instantly. What a terrible, terrible solver. Uh, 12 down. With rapid progress on the way, could it improve transparency? Screen screen something is what i'm thinking with rapid progress on the way that sounds like you're going too fast on the motorway could it imp is it something like windscreen wipe a screen wipe screen 
it does sound like a cryptic definition you know if you're going along on the motorway and you can't see you're going fast so you need more screen that would give us an n here loaded per pipe into brigantines amidships oh goodness well per pipe is going to be um you know we're going to have to stutter in our answers so imagine there was a word for pipe that began with f like flu then we could have double f affluent loaded affluent it is affluent whoa that's very clever it's very clever setting not by me i got I, right so the way i got this was thinking about words for pipe and then doubling the first letter um and that gave me afflu and then i thought of the word affluent realized it meant loaded now what is how is the rest of this working a n t okay so that's a n t is the middle letters of brigantines so amidships is saying take the middle letters of the word brigantines and put f flu in the middle very 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 difficult um now look we've nearly done it well we've got starting for this it's the, probably the name of a film looking at the film at the end there article perhaps the covering illusion made about film that's another 15 letter answer how many letters have we got in 8 12 yeah okay so i'm thinking this is an anagram of illusion made inside the um thelma and louise wow wow well that's quite a modern film normally with the times crossword you can get you can get any old nonsense from way back when um right we're still in this then we still have a chance clause clear clause clear rid perhaps for clear with executor right so rider yes rider is a clause in a contract so how are we getting this clear if you rid something of something you clear it of it and executor we're taking the extreme letters of the word executor, the E and the R. Put that together, we get the answer. Drink repeatedly over cardiac glitch. Murmur, rum. Yeah. Okay, that's that's actually a fairly simple clue by the standards of this puzzle. So uh, a drink is the drink rum. We take that repeatedly and we turn it over. It's a down clue. So turning something over reverses it. And we get murmur, which is a heart defect. Um, so, so oh, it's not screen wipe screen screen something what's 22 down one month in pa podiatry pediatry off and on oh right that's fairly difficult i only know this from crosswords i think in the hebrew calendar i'm probably getting this wrong and i'm going to get um hauled over the coals but i think there is the month adar and if you take the regular letters the, in fact it's the even letters in the word podiatry you can see you get a d a r so adar is the answer there 15 down playful and willing not all willing is testate um as in if you have a will you're described as testate playful this is going to be something o-u-s i think at the end playful you're frivolous you're ah mm, i don't know i might need a might need more letters tom introducing european goddess okay hikati is what i'm thinking there yes so tom this is outrageous uh, it's very tricky anyway um tom is a male cat so a he cat might be a male cat follow introducing so he cat introduces it precedes e which is a valid abbreviation for european the goddess is hikati turn inside out evert or something always on time yes that's just a fairly straightforward clue ever is always on t for time and evert is a word that means turn inside out right so this is playful um playful why can't i just see what that is i don't know hack food hack 
hack is a you know a sort of journalist a reporter hack food um food nutriment screen so okay this is my where we may be getting into real trouble then so it's clearly screen something isn't it 22 down he says with confidence that may not be valid with rapid progress on the way could it improve transparency screen screen something screen <laughs> Screen, windscreen, wiper, windscreen. Oh no! Okay, and we got the playful one and willing. If you're willing, your game, playful, gamesome. Well, if that's a word. It fits the wordplay. If you're willing to do something, you're game to do it. And if not all of something, is some of it. Gamesome. I don't like it because I have a horrible feeling that game is the wrong synonym for willing here. If you're willing to do something, you are. Four letters, blank A, blank E. I don't know hack food i can think of the word agreement that fits it's not hack and it's not food um food nourishment sweet meat so i'm thinking meat at the end i don't i don't really like it i have to say hack food carve No, I don't like C here. That's not a very sensible idea, is it? I mean, the problem is, well, the only good thing is, I thought this might be a horrible letter here, like E. But E doesn't look very nice in the across answer, does it? I'd be much happier if this was sort of a, a really, a letter that's going to make 25 across clear. So what's that likely to do? D? Hack food. Um, food is sustenance. Hack food question mark. So is it is it saying food for a reporter like a story? Hack food. Or is it is it saying hack at food somehow. <laughs> um, mincemeat would, would have been, you know, something, you know, that hack mincemeat I quite like as an answer. If you make mincemeat of something, you hack at it. Oh no, that would make this blank A blank M with rapid progress on the way. Could it provide transparency? Screen. Oh no. Screen. Screen time. Screen. <laughs> I can't think of a word that fits here, which is not sensible. Um, and I won't let myself use a dictionary. To giving using a dictionary on the standard times is not not acceptable. Um, I don't mind using it once I've finished to check why things were that, but. Um, barrier, of course, due to party lines. I mean, why is a doll? I mean, there might be another meaning of doll. Due to party. Due to party. I mean, I just can't see how that can be anything else. I don't understand it. Um, but maybe there is a doll that is, I don't know, maybe it's a, a nickname for a horse jump or something. just trying to think whether I can think of another name for a uh, like a jump in uh, in jump racing is there something steeple chasing is there a clever clever word that I could put in there I don't know so screen 
with rapid progress on the way. So you're going fast on the motorway. Could it improve the transparency? Screen. Sc oh, I don't know. And what's this letter? This letter is so important, isn't it? OK, mincemeat didn't work. So can we think of anything else that would go in here? How long have we had? Nearly half an hour. It's not dreadful considering I'm explaining the clues as I go. Um, assuming I can solve it, of course. So if that was a, if that was an S, S is a very nice letter, isn't it? And what would that make 25 across hack food? Don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, wish, I, wish, I wish all light had been shed upon that. Um, and this is the thing where if I do finish the puzzle, all the comments will be about how everybody got this instantly. And our art isn't Simon a bit stupid? <laughs> hack food. Um, hack food. Hack. What else could hack mean here? Food. And what is this 12 down? I think if we got 12 down, we get 25 across with rapid progress on the way. I mean, I, I can't get my head away from screen now. Could it improve transparency? You turn your windscreen wipers on. You use wiper wash. Screen wash? Well, maybe it's screen wash. OK, I, I feel that might be horse meat. Uh, yeah, it is. Hack is a type of horse. OK, so horse meat is the answer. There we go. Is this right? Pregnant pause? Yes. OK, <laughs> so not dreadful. I mean, screen wash. <sighs> yeah, I should have got it more quickly. There's no there's no denying it. I should once. I should have got it more quickly. I'm trying to justify in my brain why my brain is so, lets me down so often. And I can't. My brain is, it's let itself down again. Um, and then horse meat for, I mean, hack food. It's, it's not that easy, but I had enough letters. I should have got it. Once Once I thought of, I'm glad actually 22 down was so clearly ADAR. Because I, I would have I taken quite a while to get off mincemeat had I put that in first. If I put mincemeat in and then come to 22 down, I, I mean, it's clear enough from the wordplay what was going on. So I probably wouldn't have. I probably would have been prepared to change mincemeat. But imagine if this had been Eden or Eden had been a possibility at 22 down. That would have made things difficult. So, OK, let's have a, let's have a check of the dictionary. So let me go to the dictionary here. Um, and what we going? I was going to look up ch chuff or however you say that that word, wasn't I? The name of the bird. Oh, it's the first definition, a passerine bird. Of the crow family apparently that inhabits sea cliffs and mountains what's the second definition that says sea chuff which is a clown <laughs> it's a dialectic word for a clown well we learn something new every day let me justify adar to you let's hope i was right about well i said hebrew character jewish ca calendar um so not not a million miles away um then what else should we check here is there was there anything else that was remotely controversial um poison chalice amendment enamelist mic micro scale i wasn't sure, you know if you'd asked me whether micro scale was a word i wouldn't have known but um i'm not seeing much else that's terribly let's check micro scale see if it, if indeed it is in the dictionary micro micro scale extremely small scale so you can't really deny the definition there of very tiny um so that's how to do it. Now, that is a very hard puzzle. So do not feel bad if you've tried this puzzle and struggled with it. Oh, gamesome. I mean, that's such a ludicrous word. Let's check that. Gamesome. Yeah, there it is. Playful. Um, you know, it, it's just very difficult. There's all sorts of tricks being used. There's all sorts of um, slightly unusual wordplay. Pipe is very tricky. Um, but it is, I suppose, solvable, um, even if 
your brain doesn't work on a couple of the answers. Uh, let me know in the comments how you got on. Let me know if you got any of them. If you're new to cryptic crosswords and you know you were reading the clues with me, were there any that you were able to solve on your own? And let me know which ones you think are the most outrageous as well. And uh, yeah, and do help with the Kickstarter if you can. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back later with Sudoku editions of Cracking the Cryptic.